Star Podcast. Okay. Wait. Holy shit. We're in. We're starting. Hey, we're back. We're back. Uh, we're back. That's on Monday night, and we're gonna drink some beer. Cheers. Oh, we got something to talk about. Hold on. Uh, do it again. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. That's the sound of really shitty 40s. Oh, boy. Mine's gonna splatter out because mm. I kept hitting mm. arms. <laughs> That's what she said. Ah! I'm gonna take off my glasses because they're kind of shiny. Wait, it's gonna splatter out because it keeps hitting corns. Whatever. Anyways, welcome to the 40 hour. My name is Corn. This is Pat, who's Pat. struggling with his beer. I am. <clears throat> Sorry. And this is the 40 hour. Um, the 40 hour is a podcast that we do whenever we want. And it's um, a 40 hour is a period of time that we invented uh, that is the amount of time it takes for both of us to finish our 40 ounces of either beer or malt liquor. In this case, we're doing beer. And um, it's one of our favorites uh, as far as 40s go. Um, we don't always find it um, in 40 because um, they often sell them in 32s. But Miller High Lives. Oh, this koozie, you may ask. Uh, thank you to PJ in uh, the, the, the Dynasty uh, uh, Reddit League sending me that last Christmas. I was trying to bust it out last podcast, but I, uh, I don't, couldn't find it. But anyways, um, it has a little... You know, grip slip grip thing, you know, for, for those with smaller hands. My hands are average to above average size, so gripping a 40 is not really that big of a deal. But, you know, some people out there just don't. Dude. Anyways, today we're going to burp first. And we're going to talk about where we're at right now. The internet. Broadcasting to you from an undisclosed location, in an undisclosed city, in an undisclosed country. We're in San Francisco, California. I mean... Via the internet is what's our topic of the day. I mean, we better be in San Francisco if we're Dude, talking about the internet. I'm trapped in your d electronic device. Let us out. <laughs> I'm just a gigabyte. <laughs> I'm just a gigabyte. <gasps> Anyways. Mm. So we are here talking so about So actually, the speaking today. of undisclosed locations. Yes. Um, today, well, as you all know, gentrification in San Francisco has been um, quite a hot topic. And right. which that leads to um, something that we noticed when we started doing this podcast. Uh, on my way here, I usually pick up the 40s and then so that we can drink them later on. And um, I noticed it was harder and harder to find... A liquor store or a grocery store that actually has 40s um, and I was, it was un, like you know I, I would I was like what why don't they have 40s here and it was just kind of one of those unexpected uh, side effects of gentrification it's like no we don't want to sell 40 ounce servings of malt liquor or beer Trying to like us out of corn. They're, they're, that's what that's what you know colored people drink that's that's the dialogue. Is that their dialogue? No, I don't know. They just said, oh, we don't have that. We, just... we, we don't drink 40s. Yeah. We just drink a bunch of beer. We're totally going to drink just craft brews, bro. Craft brews. Oh, my God. You don't know about this IPA? Oh. I actually really like IPAs because you get drunk for quicker, quicker and cheaper. That's true. Yeah, so it's just financially responsible to do so. Yeah. But anyways, um... So today when I was going to get the 40s, I was pleasantly surprised to not only find a few different types of 40s, but I found plastic 40s. You know, <laughs> your shit is ridiculous when you have a plastic 40. You know, your life is in shambles if this is your drink of choice um, in a plastic bottle. It's not my drink of choice in a plastic bottle, but I'm just saying, you know, if this you go to get this regularly, there's a demand, such a demand for this that they started making this. That's insane. So if you're drunk out of your mind and you drop your, your 40, it won't, you know, it first, first of all, you won't get broken glass everywhere. People pissing on the corner, so they just don't care. You just get, you know, garbage and plastic all over the fucking floor. It's true. It's but recyclable. I mean, it's recyclable. My glasses, too. Um, 
Doesn't make a very good weapon, though. No, you don't want to try and stab someone with this 40. Um, it's just, you know, that's just not a smart thing to do. It's um, not a smart thing to do to stab anybody. That's true. That's true. But anyways, um, yes, so <clears throat> the internet. The internet. So, I mean, we're going to, I think today what we're going to do is just kind of keep it simple and we're just going to give our pros and cons of the internet. I mean, we're yeah. pretty much the first generation to grow up with the internet like growing up with true. the internet versus it already either already being there mm-hmm. or getting interest, introduced to the internet as a grown adult so there, there definitely is like a before and after mm-hmm. like before, we mm-hmm. can tell there's a before and after i mean but we weren't mature enough to kind of like you know like whatever but yeah but well i mean we remember the dewey decimal system mm-hmm. you know we remember doing book reports I remember having to go to the library. To I get, remember having to go to the library. To get three books for your sources. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For your book report. Oh, de- yeah. For your bibliography. Your bibliography. I mean, you still do bibliographies, right? I think. You just cite the... Yeah, but you cite the website now. Yeah, that's fucking insane. I remember it was a huge deal in college. I cited <laughs> someone Zynga in college. <laughs> Zanga. Zanga. My bad. Zynga is the new Zynga fucking... Zanga. Who's a what's up? Zynga Zanga. Who's a what's up? Who's a... I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Zynga Zanga. I had a Zanga. And she was fucking I had a Zanga full too. of... You're, that's who I cited? Of, I cited your Zanga. Did you really? No. Oh, I was like... Wow. Yeah, nothing to say. I was so prolific as a fucking college student. Yes. I think I was in college when Zanga was around, right? I was a freshman in college. I was in the dorms. I remember I would update my Zanga. I just went to the dining commons. Oh, fried chicken day. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> and stupid shit like that. Um, I, I think I got all of my selfie pictures out of the way on Zanga. Did you? I got really? the whole. Like, like oh, did you really? I did. I can't remember. I had like why. a really small Sony camera. Yeah. And then like, you know, I'd have like the tongue. Oh, I'd have shit. The, um, the peace sign. Hold on. I'm just, I'm just going to try and uh, blast this, this podcast a little bit more while we're streaming. Um, I guess maybe let's just start with our lists. Um, so we're gonna go with a yeah. pro con list today. Yeah. Um, five pros, five cons, and I uh, think I'm the con. We're gonna go ahead and let Pat be the the cons. I'm the negative uh, one. I'll, I'll do the. I'll do the. I'll, I'm I'm uh, <clears throat> forty half full. He'll be forty half uh, empty. empty. Um, that's a bad place to be too. That's <laughs> when forty is half empty. You're like, damn. Empty, you're like, where's the next mm-hmm. forty coming from? <laughs> so, oh my god, that first half was so tasty. That's not a good place to be. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> all right, Pat, go. I'm gonna try and post and see if more people will come in here. Sure. My number five thing, and this is the only time I'll get on. Sorry. Nice. Get on on a sand sand sandbox. Yes. Soapbox. Soapbox. Sandbox is is. Yeah, it's where you. Yes, it's where you play. Yeah. And, yes. And it's also like a type of game nowadays. Gotcha. Metal, Metal Gear. Gear. Okay, go ahead. Anyways, so I think that my number five pick would be the elimination of privacy on deep internet and i only say this because um i read a quote where mark zuckerberg basically said that privacy is not the social norm anymore yep isn't that fucking crazy and i'm not and we're voluntarily broadcasting our likenesses exactly across exactly anywhere dude isis can be watching us right now anybody could be watching you and on top of that, like, I mean, we leave, like, a digital footprint, yep. basically, everywhere we go. Which, Mine's which they pretty call, substantial, too. Which they call big data. Big so, data. So, big data, They basically what it means is everything you've ever done online, from that drunk picture you took last week, mm. to this, the porn that you buy. Mm. I mean, why would you buy porn? Well, that's the pre-internet era, right? Yeah, People sorry. Did that. Sorry, that's analog stuff. <laughs> okay. Analog shit. All right, that's that's offline stuff. But basically, back when like, it had storylines and I... shit. <laughs> now it's just a clip, and you get it's like I'm bored. Next, next. <laughs> Anyways, so like you know, you leave a digital footprint, and like what goes, what happens is that you know, like these companies that are getting paid to like study big data, like they'll find like what. What you where you shopped and like what you bought online and all these things and they'll market stuff to you on your I don't know whatever website you go to I, I go to a movie website 
then all of a sudden they're offering me a bunch of sneakers. It's crazy. Yeah, you know, like that's kind of my job. Like, but anyways, but you know, going further beyond that, if we want to get like you know, Big Brother style. Like, I mean, like this is the type of stuff that like you know, Captain America: The Winter Soldier was about. Like, we gave away our freedom willingly. Yep. And like you know, basically, our whole lives are online. Like you know, our bank accounts. Bank accounts. Bank When's account? the last time you stepped into the bank? Yesterday. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, you're but, kind of, you know. Anyways. Backwards and in, in the past and shit. You know. I still use paper. What? <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, that's my thing. That's one of the negatives where our privacy is basically gone. You know. It is. You know, with NSA and their software prism. Software is that what they call it? Prism. Prism, prism. is the spying software that. Well, apparently, like, they, they built this huge fucking um, data, center. data center in, in like, like, random, like, buttfuck like Midwest you, somewhere. Like, uh, in Colorado, I think. Really? They or, would, no, yeah, it's, Denver. Uh, I don't know. I just know that it's, it's, like, a huge data center, which is the... I it's the know, biggest yeah. in the world. Yeah. And so, basically... And they're collecting all your shit. Even when you think your laptop camera is off, it's on. Can see like, right now. Yeah. And you know what? That's why, uh, you know, it goes back to the Patriot Act and, like, all that stuff. Basically, that's the why... The Lali Lalu? Yes. <laughs> and, uh, basically, um, that's why there are some people that are banned on no flight. Like, they're in no, no flight, flight, yeah. flight list because they're associated through some weird data thing to some terrorist somewhere. That's insane. So, I mean, th- I mean, that's the only, I mean, that's as serious as I'm going to get. But yeah. Like, well, but, I mean, I mean, but, you can you lump know, identity theft, like, you yeah. can lump all that shit in yeah, there. Yeah, like just All your mistakes. Basically, they're, they're putting, but, they're, they're guiding you But one to, can argue that it yeah. kind of puts everybody on a, uh, like everyone even playing to, field in terms of exactly, fuck ups. Exactly. It's like. It's true. That's yeah, true. I mean, you can dig up anything about anyone, right? N- mm-hmm. you, no longer can you like have dirty little secrets but then again everybody's gonna have dirty little dirty little secrets that are just gonna be dirty little out there's you know like i mean which is you know which is not right obviously but yeah like i mean but i think that's kind of sad that no one can be true very like your privacy is like super gone on top of like you know stuff where people overshare but then that's another negative for me later that's another another so anyways over well, to you, Corn. Over to me. Um, well, I think one of the biggest um, pros that I have, and one that is you know pretty generic, pretty general, is uh, the internet has just f- changed communication like insanely. Mm-hmm. Like, um, you know, being able to talk to anyone at any time, um, essentially for free. You know, so you can yeah. Skype, you can see, you go boop, boop, you know, like, and it's like, oh, I can see you. And you can do, you can communicate to anyone at any time, pretty much like, and it's almost that like the world's gotten a little bit and smaller. The world's definitely gotten smaller. Yeah. And, and because of that, the exchange of information is so, this can happen so easily. Like, <clears throat> oh, nice. Exchange that information. Yes. Because of the internet, you guys com- got communicated a belch from yours truly. <laughs> Smell it? That technology's not there yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, you know, like communication, no longer do you have to sit at home and wait for a phone call. Um, emails, like like the amount of information you can re- receive v- via like an, an email versus... Like think think about your everyday exchange. Like back in the day, when you had to dial up your buddy, it's like, dude, I'll meet you at the mall at four p.m. by the fountain. Now you can be like, dude, I'll just meet you at the mall. Uh, I'm gonna get food, and then oh, so, oh I'm running a little bit late. Like think about just, that's just an, a, a, an example of just meeting up a friend. Right. Imagine you're doing business. You know, you're mm-hmm. like, okay, here, let me send you an email. I got a list of all the sh- the action items that we need to fucking take care of. Right. Blah blah blah, all that. Oh, and Plus, by the way, um, I don't speak English, and you don't speak Chinese, and but we can communicate because there's translation software. Ni hao. Boom, ni hao, bitches, and and like imagine how insane that is 
compared to just 15 years ago, 20 years ago. We were 15 years ago. People were You'd faxing have to pay each other. For a translator. People were faxing each other 10 years ago. 10 years ago. 15 years ago. Yeah. Think about that shit. Like we're communicating to you right now via the internet. Like go. Number Bring four. it back down, Pat. Bring it back down. All right, all right. Since I'm a downer. Number four. It's it's a pro, but it's also a con. I feel like convenience, it, you know, like it's good, but then, you know, like I'm kind of like, are people getting too con- too reliant on, you know, their technology? The technology. Internet. Taking the, the shortcut. Get exactly. Being used to taking the shortcut. Exactly. Like, not, I, yeah. yeah. You know, like I just, um, I just. I guess, like, for me, like, there's, like, an algorithm for everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um, I think that's one of, like, one of my con. Like, you know, I don't really have a lot of evidence to back it up, just like I had last, like, my number five. <sighs> but, yeah, basically, I think that convenience, I think that there's something wrong when you don't have well, to. Well, what when, it does when, is it you stunts. Know, when you don't need to put in the work. Yeah, to like do something. It stunts the certainly. growth of a personality, you know? Like when you're so used to having that information at your fingertips or being able to do certain things with a couple clicks of the mouse, well, you don't go out of your way to learn something. You know, the best way I can describe it is like you're you're playing the game of life with a strategy guide. You know, like you know where everything is. You can you know the, all the cheap But codes. that can also be a pro in terms of That's like what I said. not waste like, yeah. You know, like I mean, you're not wasting your time on uh Stupid things like it won't take your bill like if you don't need to mail bills in anymore, so it won't take like two weeks. Yeah, you don't have to pro- sit there and you know fucking before they process buy your bill. stamps, drop they, that shit off exactly, at the post exactly. office. I mean that's convenient. Dude, that's you know what's insane? I found a um, checkbook not too long ago, like uh, maybe last week, mm-hmm. and I had the little booklet that it had, and you balance your checkbook and you balance your right. checking account. <clears throat> Damn! Like I was like, dude. I, you know what is crazy? Like, out of all the out of all the people listening right now, all four of you, half of you probably won't know how to balance a fucking checkbook. That's insane. You know, my lady. I don't know if she'd like for me to say this, but I'm gonna say this anyways. My lady balances her checkbook every day. It's true. She does. I just look. On you my- just. My app. Wow, that's okay. I mean, you. Just, I mean, you. You get more. You know, you, I, you write it I down. Don't have enough You're more in charge of it. You're, you. <laughs> that's one, two. This Damn, I got like forty dollars. Oh, <laughs> again. Anyways. No, but you know, it's it's those little things that yeah, like technology has kind of taken over for like. You know, we we rely on things like Mint.com and, mm-hmm. and that aggregates all your your accounts, know exactly right. how much your net worth is. Exactly. But then then you don't have to worry about it. But at the same time, in life you should worry about shit so you learn how to do it. And you gotta you can't always take the shortcut. I mean, banking is obviously that's I mean that's a win. Like yeah, I mean a digital like keeping track of everything, like having it pop out. But like you spent seven thousand dollars on bars this year. It's like fuck, you know and. I don't think it was seven thousand. I don't remember how much it was. I doubt it was seven thousand. And if it was, it would be lumped in with restaurants and stuff. Don't judge me. You're on a drinking show. I'm on your drinking show. Yeah, well, I'm almost to the label, you guys, but I'm not there yet. I'm not quite there yet. I'm at the top of the koozie, though. If you guys are following at home with the same size forty, that's what and, he said. And a- he's on top of the koozie. Oh, okay, that's a good one, though. That's a good one, though. Yay! <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All right, bring it back up. Okay, so my next uh, pro is a little, you know, it's a little more lighthearted in, in the sense that it's not as, like, crazy, serious, world-changing, but settling petty arguments. You know you and your friends have gotten into the fucking arguments, and one guy was so sure he was right. And he's probably that guy that's a dick in your group. He's like, dude, you don't even know. I know. I fucking did it. I did this shit. I read this shit. Blah, 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 blah. That guy, you can be like, while he's fucking blowing fucking hot gas, you can be like, dugga, 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 doo, 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 doo. you're wrong, son. You're wrong. And so that you feeling. Can, you can scat 
and yeah, well, yeah, you well, you, scat and then, one must and go online. <laughs> well, you don't scat when you go online. Sometimes I do. Only in the bathroom. I just go. I don't know why that's coming up. <laughs> We're on saving mode. Do you have to type your password back in? Damn it. Here, I'll just call out the password. No, don't do it. Just kidding. I can't see that. Anyways, but um, so sorry, distraction. But and uh, for an example, for example, I think we were in probably in college, maybe right after college. Oh, here we go. One time, one time. Here we go. For some reason, we we were like coming back from a b boy jam, I think, and then uh, we were talking about, or I was singing. I probably was singing. I I sing every once in a while. And not well, it's just, you know, just because I, it's fun. Um, so what was I saying? Um, Don't know, never want to dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. That one? But guilty feet, right? Pat was arguing his fucking, he, he, was, he was willing to bet everything. The fucking, he was about to bet the farm on this shit. He was like, it's, it's these two feet. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's guilty feet. So no, 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 it's these two feet. I know this. I was like, no, 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 I know this because I fucking karaoke all the time. I'm Chinese. I fucking karaoke in my sleep. I know this shit. And he's like, no, 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 no. It's these two feet. I was like, I'm looking that shit up. Fucking flip that shit open. I was like, boom. He's like, was it when we had right. smart? Did we have smartphones? I, I think actually, I actually, I think we came back here. And we looked it up. I mean, that's old school. Yeah. I mean, oh, we couldn't check because we only had pagers. No. We had, so it was after, we had it was Nokia after. cell phones. We had Nokia cell phones that didn't have the internet. We were playing. I was playing Snake and singing. Uh, was it was, George Michael? Is it George Michael? Yeah. Wait, who is it? No. It is was it? George Michael. I don't know. Look it up. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Revenge. But, yeah. Settling petty arguments, mm -hmm. boom. Yeah, I felt really good about it. This was like probably 10 years ago, and I still talk about it on a daily basis. Uh, my manager's just sick of the story. Really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, if I ever come to your work, they're going to be like, oh, it's this guy. It's all this, this motherfucker. Guy, this hey, motherfucker hey, thought it was these hey, two feet. Hey, you know feet? where the, ba oh, the bathroom's these over there. Feet? Take those two feet and go over there. Yeah, those two feet, because it's a wrongville. It's a wrongville. Wrong. <laughs> Sorry, Pat. Okay, uh, my number three um, con is that, um, you know, like I think that social media has, well, there are good things about it, like we said, but there are also really bad things about it. Yo, who's Ustreamer1160? Why? Post up. You're just, I don't know who you are. He said, guilty feet got no rhythm. He's just saying, you know, he's on Team Corn. That's all. That's all that is. No I'm, big deal. I'm wrong. I, I, I admit it. Hmm? That means you're on Team Asshole. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. I'm not. I'm just kidding. Okay, go. Anyway, so the social social media, I think his, man, don't. Okay, okay. Okay, okay so social wait, media wait, wait, wait. was going to be my pro. It so was. we can, we can, we can. I mean, there's good things about dialogue it. Dialogue here. There, there's good things about it. Go. Like, What's I your agree? cons of these are really light. These are. It feels weird. It feels really weird. It feels a little weird. It feels like that. I'm drinking a giant soda. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm drinking out of a Coke bottle. It's weird. Yeah. They don't get that cold either. Uh -uh. I got them from the cooler at the liquor store, and then we put them in the fridge as soon as I got here, and they were in there for an hour, and it's like, not that cold. This koozie is useless. It's just, it's just fashionable. It just it looks feels a little flat. It just looks pretty. I just don't think I'm getting the full 40 experience. You're not. You know. Not. But you know what, though? Some people are clumsy and they drop it, you know? No one here. No, no one here. Anyways, so <laughs> the social media. Oh, it's Titus. What's up, Titus? What up, All right, Titus? Guys. But um, I think that some people act like idiots on social media. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. like, like people that you know in real life, they adopt this, like, second identity. That is so far from like their real life, like, you, I mean, you know, like there's, I think everyone has a friend on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, where they develop, a they develop like their, they develop like a second identity. Yeah. Like I, 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 I did a couple, uh, some research on this. So 
basically, you know, like, they share, like, the best part of their lives. And, like, no one yeah. will ever call them on it. And, like, you know, some people are anonymous. Like, I mean, I'm talking about trolls. Yep. Like, trolls would never act like that. My hand and, got sweaty from this koozie, by the way. I'm just, I don't know. Don't, okay. It's right here. All right. Anyways, go ahead. Whatever you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Like, I mean, I'm talking about trolls. Like, they won't. You don't see people going around acting like idiots. I mean, um, and saying so unbelievably per- racist ass things on message boards. On top of that, the, oh, YouTube comments. Okay, the worst. Here's the worst. Here, these are the worst. YouTube comments and uh, and online newspaper articles. Holy shit! Have you ever been on SF Gate? And went on an article and scrolled to the bottom, and you just feel like, fuck, I lost a couple IQ points by going down here. And fighting game fans, some of you, my god. God. The worst. It's like, the rest of the, all all of society in real life, like, most of the society in real life, the Bay Area, we don't use, we don't say faggot anymore. Dude, if you look on YouTube comments in general, it's like, it's as if that word is like it's, it's thriving there are a bunch of there's just a bunch of evil shit it's sometimes. so horrible like, I, yeah exactly that and like you know and then dude the, when people hide behind a keyboard exactly and, uh, the worst cyber bullies another cyber, one it's real yeah. well well and like cyber bullies only exist because people can be cyber bu- bullied though right if he exactly. if, if you if bullies are preying on people who 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 they can make feel bad and if you are someone who goes online, who built this persona, and you put so much effort into it. It's like, but this then is cyber, me. And then someone comes along and stomps are, all over cyber it. Cyber you know? bullies kind of do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, so they, it's, could, like, they could, it's in, a loop. Yeah. It's a loop. So then, Pretty then, much yeah. the internet has given people the, the ability to Talk be shit. someone who they aren't in exactly. real life and, and I, human and, interactions. And that's another thing. That, like, one of these things that I read was that the more you... Um, Talk about this kind of, it's kind of like self-promotion, right? You're like promoting, you're making yourself a brand. Yep. First of all. So then like you're promoting that brand. Mm -hmm. The more you promote that brand, the farther you get from the reality that is you. Kind of like, you know, so the farther out of touch you get with. Top of the label. Get on it. No, me too. But, um, so the farther you do that, like, you know, like the more you lose touch of reality. Like we all know that person that posts like inspirational shit on like instagram or facebook unrelentlessly unrelentlessly but then you know that person and you're like you're the same fucking way you were last year but okay wait, so wait, wait, are you wait, done wait, no, wait. no no i'm not done yet. <laughs> are you done no <laughs> and on top of that here's where the drugs come in Here, here's where the chemicals come in the chemicals not the drugs sorry so i feel like everybody does this because social media is a bullshit arbitrary numbers game yeah to some people Yep. Most a lot of people, you know. It's, no, it's, it's not a bullshit arbitrary numbers game to some people though. That's it's, why I just it's said, because it's not. You said it. I is. said. I said it. I said to some people it's not. Yes. Yes. I. I didn't. I, I'm not generalizing. Okay. Like, everybody, but to some people it's a bullshit arbitrary numbers game. Yes. How many friends you have? How many likes That's you bullshit got? Bullshit arbitrary to a normal sane like, human. Like how many friends you have? Com- how many like, likes you make? You got how many? You know, uh, how many? views you've got you know whatever yeah and we got like, five nobody yeah. cares and the reason why is because it's been pro- <laughs> <laughs> the reason why is because uh like once you when you get a like or whatever you get a dopamine hit right basically yeah your brain. Your for brain. Sure. so then it becomes if you acknowledgement acknowledgement so everybody wants is, to be acknowledged exactly but then if like you have low self-esteem yeah then you know, you are playing this bullshit game, which basically, but then you're becoming dependent on that dopamine hit. Yeah. You know, and like, that's why there's studies have shown that a lot of people get depressed on Facebook because one, they're playing a comparison game with their friends. Yep. And you know, like that's based, I mean, that's, that's the end all be all of it. Like if you're somebody that's looking for likes all the time and how many friends you have or whatever, like, and you're not getting that drug basically, and you see other people 
you know, going on vacation, getting all these likes, you know, whatever. Yeah. Then you can go, you can go into like a depression. And this yeah. is, it's true. Like, so, no, this like, happens. It happens where like people. But really... I feel like with our generation, we experienced so many things before social media. We're lucky <clears throat> enough to have that. But if you think about it, you're growing up and YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all this yeah. shit was already existing mm-hmm. when you were born or like, you know, when you were yeah. a small child. You know what I mean? Like as soon as you can get online, like it's like, oh, okay, I'm, I accept you. Everybody's accepting everybody. Like love, 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 love like, right. like, like, like. And then all of a sudden people are like, oh, this motherfucker can't have a life. Fuck this guy. Fuck you. You're fucking stupid. Your stupid channel about drinking beer is dumb. Anonymous. Anonymous. You probably live in your mother's basement. Anonymous. Anonymous. It's like, okay. It's true. Thanks, I mean, bro. Why you got so much hate? I mean, this shit is real. Like, I mean, like, we don't even have I, that many basements out here in the Bay Area. If you don't area, believe dude. this, just, it's not a big basement area. Dude, all right? go to any. We got earthquakes. Yes. Shit will fall down. Right. Exactly. <laughs> like, I mean. <laughs> Dude, All right. but yeah, you, yeah that's basically, sure. I mean, like, that's my thing, like, and that, and like, just like the dudes that you know, y'all know who you are, your life's not that interesting, yeah. Can, can I talk about pros now? You can't. Are you, are you done? I am. <laughs> so, my pro is social media. Um, I think right now it's starting to become a more negative thing, social media, than positive in terms of like people who are who talk about social media like oh it's like oh i mean because because you know what uh big businesses and marketing and and all these people have got a hold of it now right so everybody knows that it's a marketing fucking thing big data i know and i'm in marketing which is whatever but social media is a huge thing in terms of um people who are sitting around doing nothing or and and making money for it you know but I think social media is a fucking amazing if used right. Um, I agree. The, the fact that, you know, I can meet friends, I can meet people and be able to communicate with them without having to go out of my way to text them and go out of my way to call them or hang out with them all the time. But I kind of know what's happening in their life and, and I get to do the same, you know? It's like, and you can stay connected with friends who otherwise you might not hear from again anymore you know like yeah i when i i i studied in europe for a year um i mean all those friends like i could still know what they're kind of up to if i ever go like travel into their area i know that they'll be like hey yes of course come hang out we'll do that and and that is making you know i mean obviously the world is becoming more and more international and that's that's a wonderful thing because you know obviously intermingling of ideas and sharing of of, of like different you know all that cool shit that you get from traveling but at the same time it's like it's it's a lot easier and the world is a lot smaller because of it um and you get to interact with you know people all over the yeah, world you know what actually like you know like since i wasn't able to put my pros in here mm-hmm. like a lot of my pros were my cons like mm-hmm. you know what i mean like there's a flip side to it and like i agree with social media like one of my pros was that with social media um it's easier for you to find your community like, I mean, it's easier for you to, if, like, if you're, I don't know, like, if, if you're, like, a kid in, like, you know, the Midwest or, like, um, wherever, like, so, somewhere where they're, like, in a rural rural area. Yeah. And you, and you don't get to experience cool people. Like, like, I can go on YouTube and, like, let's say I grew up and all I wanted to do was, uh... Like, I, this is not me, but work on cars. Like, right? Uh, exactly. All I want to do is I watch movies like yeah. cool cars. You know, yeah. I was influenced at a young age. And, but, you know what? Maybe my family is poor. I mean, maybe I live in a, a place where I don't have access to, to that. But you can go online, you can learn anything. Okay, yeah. uh, music. Like, learning how to play an instrument has never been fucking easier. Never been easier. That's why I always Video like. Video games? Dude, I always try to convince people that I know to try and learn an instrument because there's little to no excuses. Like, I have so many friends that are like, oh, I love music. I love this. I'm like, then fucking learn. Learn about it. Learn about music. Don't don't just be an, uh, 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 um, you know, don't don't just, uh, like, take. Give. Give give back to that. And with YouTube and with, like, all these fucking things, and, I mean, I'm, we're diverging from social media. Actually, YouTube is okay, social media, right? It's, 
you know, if you interact, whatever. Anyway, I do have one pro that I want to say, but I'll, I'll, Ooh, I'll save it for later. But I think that it's an opportunity to learn anything. You know, we, it levels the playing field on a lot of things that people are. Some people are more pri- privileged to have just due to their birthright, where they're from, where they grew up, yeah. all that. They have access to learning a second language, yeah. learning what, all these well, things, right? Yeah. And and but now. The internet levels that. Yeah. Well, I was talking more about like you know you basically find your own tribe kind of like I mean, you want you which want, can also be a horribly horribly if bad taken con. to an extreme it's really bad. But I'm talking about like oh there's like, normal sane people. Shit. There's like these otaku's that want to talk about like uh, mm-hmm. anime or even if like you're gay like some in a place where like that's you know frowned down upon. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the internet you can find a community. That you can, you can, but you know what's fucked up though. What? Like I read this really long article, maybe like four or five years ago, mm-hmm. that the internet has. Um, it's it's gonna get dark, folks. The internet has actually allowed pedophiles to communicate with each other, and uh, well, I mean, it's fucking yeah. dark, dude. I'm pretty I, sure. I read this article, and they're talking about how, like, yeah, I'm in a. Uh, I'm in a mutually loving relationship with my four-year-old son, and it's like some fucked up shit. And and there's communities out there where they sell jewelry online, and then let's say let's say I'm not going to use myself as an example because it's even too dark. Let's say Bob Bobbington over here is a pedophiliac, incestuous, psycho, crazy person, right? Who's having a relationship with his son. He can buy jewelry online that will look like just regular jewelry to but us. But then right? when you when people But when, when another, another fucked one... up person sees them, they'll be like That's fucking Oh god, that makes It's so fucking weird. gross, right? But anyways, that's 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 the internet that's also, the, right? I mean, there are dark parts to the internet like, you know, like I shit, mine has been a whole con- about thing about cons. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? for sure. I would like to say one positive thing about the internet. And no. then you say one negative thing. Okay. Let's switch it up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Put you on the spot. Okay, yeah. Okay. I think one of my pros of the internet is that um, art has become democratic. Basically. Your shit sucks. Boom. Get out of here. Exactly. But you can put it out there. There's no reason why you can't put a project or a, a streaming Fox video, a, podca- a podcast, like... The forty hour, like anything, oh, anything here. that you want, me. like you know, yeah, like you can't, you can put it now, like whether it's good or not, yep. Like I mean, that's a different story, and like really, that shouldn't even be the. The point. only limiting factor is yourself, exactly. Whether you're determined or not to to enough put your to skill, do it. yeah. I mean, you're gonna get a bunch of trolls. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, that's a given. Yeah, but haters are gonna hate exactly. always. But like, you can put it on YouTube, Vimeo. You can put your music on SoundCloud. You can, like, I'm sure there's other places you can put it. Every laptop has a, a microphone and fucking webcam built in now. You, if you're good. You know, you can go to DeviantArt and put your art up. You can, like, I mean. Yeah. No, that's, that's a wonderful fucking thing. Like, I mean, even, you know, even something as common as Instagram, you know, like. Oh, yeah. Know, like, I think it's a good thing. You know, I know a lot of people, like, a lot of real photographers, like, kind of, like, shit on on, on like you know sharing your stuff on instagram but yeah like, but then that's that's like it sucks it sucks that if you are a photographer and that's your art and that's your shit mm-hmm. all of a sudden a bunch of nobodies can fucking hijack that and and do barely any work and make their shit looks look good as fuck you know and and you while you're sitting there spending mad dough on like equipment, equipment and, and learning no, your craft I, I understand that. but at the same time it's kind of like that that driving that mentality of to be creative like should con- should go it's like oh shit okay that's a new tool yeah you know but and, that's i mean and like i think you know i went i went to this workshop like for digital video maybe like 3 or 4 years ago but a uh, famous dslr filmmaker his name's uh philip bloom and um you know someone asked him like you know with the advent of youtube and vimeo and like everybody having a digital camera a dslr camera and like i mean shit our iphone camera well my iphone camera is like you know they're pretty good you know so they said how do you distinguish between like the um the the, the, the best people and like you know whatever or what what distinguishes what what sets people apart now 
you know and then yeah. he very he was he's british right so he, he very coolly and calmly said ideas no, he didn't do it in a british accent though well i'm I, i'm not good at you can do okay. it you do it i can't I, do it with one word <laughs> well, there, that, that shows ideas how. there you go that's, that's, that's <laughs> yeah like i mean like yeah so he said ideas originality you know what i mean like so well I'm, i mean i mean if we're gonna I, go down that road too it's like now you can't you can't make shit look good because you have the right equipment to make it look good because everybody's got that equipment now right exactly so your but, ideas but technical your, skill there's something to be said about technical oh yeah for skill sure too. absolutely like, I mean, like so I mean, but yeah, ideas but, are. But like technical skill, yes. Mm-hmm. But f- to the standard has 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 increased, right? Exactly. The standard, the oh. like, if you are an amateur photographer, mm-hmm. your amateur photography is gonna look a bajillion times better than it would have ten years, five years ago. That's true. Right. That is very true. That's very true. But you know, like that, I just look the way I look at it is that there's no excuses anymore. True, there's absolutely. No, like you know, like you know, like especially I think for like filmmakers. Yeah. Like you know, like I think that the technology is there. Yeah. Um, you know, I I don't think it's quite caught up with like actually going to a movie theater. I mean, to me, movie theaters are like sacred places. Like, but like I mean. Put but that's what that's what the movie industry has to kind of adapt to, right? You exactly. know, which they're they they've been very hesitant to in the past that's true. past few years, and past decade. That's true. Well, while while movie making and media and entertainment media in general has been evolving, the the movie industry has not. You know what has? Television has. Television has. Fucking killing it. You yeah. got shows like I mean, in the past five or six years, you got. Like, sh- the forty-hour. Well, I mean, obviously. Monday well, that's nights. that's that's you know the gold standard, but mm-hmm. you can't hold everything to that gold oh, standard. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but like right under there, you got Breaking Bad, Walking Dead. Like these shows, <clears throat> these primetime shows, right? Are are dark. They're creative. They're uh, just just awesome, amazing, great stories, um, and they don't pull punches like. You can make a television show about a teacher who, because he's terminally ill with cancer, he said, fuck it, I'm making meth and making a shit ton of dough, tons of violence. Like, you know, there, there's no, like, the American American society in general and, and media in general for so long has been so like, oh, we can't do that, it'll piss off our sponsors. Oh, we can't do that, we can't show that. And it, it gives a fake perception of reality, right? Like, I mean, obviously, zombie apocalypse isn't a real, real... It's not reality, but at the same time, it's like w- people want to consume that. Like people want to see crazy shit. People don't want to be like see a fake ass sitcom life. You know, like that's not. It was not. Life isn't Full House or Saved by the Bell. It's not. And then so the television industry has fucking changed it. Netflix has changed it. Daredevil, like all these original oh, House of Cards, all these original shows, just destroying the way people used to think about TV. It's true. And the the movie industry is not fucking hasn't adapted, you know? They yeah. are starting to. Yeah. Marvel, the Mar- Marvel Cinematic Universe, I mean, they're cre- they they're doing da- Daredevil the movie, I mean not Daredevil. Uh Deadpool the movie now based on the internet, based on fans, based on the fact that there was a high demand for it and they're like we're not going to spend money on your 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 shitty movies anymore. I think there's a danger to that too though, to be honest with you. What's your what oh. What's your danger, Debbie Downer? Well, I mean, then it, then people are starting to write for, like, they're writing... To pacify the crowd? Yes. But they're pacifying the people who want to consume that media. I get that, but then what I'm saying is that if you're writing something for somebody else, like, I feel like... Yes, but for every I person like who's going to cash out like that, there's going to be another but, person with a platform but that wait, can... But wait, now hear me like, But then you're also ticking off these boxes just because... You know, like, oh, the internet community would like to see this. Oh, like, so you're ticking off these boxes. Yeah, buzzwords and, and, and things and like, like that, all right? this stuff. But then, like, you know, so then what happens is, first of all, you're you're kind of like, you're not, you're not being creative. Yeah. Like, I well, mean. Well, they're, see, the thing is, wait, movie wait, wait, studios wait. and things are always going to make, make want to make money. Yeah, I understand that. But then, like, those aren't the movies that are going to stand the test of time. Like but I'm, you're you're thinking about 
creativity and projects and quality pieces of art for the sake of art and for the sake of creativity and for the sake of no not for and i'll tell you why like let's look at the dark knight the dark knight made a lot of money it had nothing to do you know the internet community they didn't want heath ledger to play the joker so i mean like think about that he i mean i don't know what jared leto's joker looks like but think about that if if the filmmakers behind that movie like adhere to everything that the internet fanboy ish community wanted you know we probably and i'll go on record i'll say this we probably wouldn't have the best joker of all live action joker of all time okay okay so it was about to get about to get serious i know but but the, bottom of the label y'all bottom of the label no, i'm not quite for there. those but following you out, i mean and, but out. that's what i'm saying you know like i agree i agree but at the same time the Dark Knight was helmed by a visionary director who had a great story. He had a great vision. And he that The Dark Knight is a blockbuster movie that also happened to be amazing. So but like But there's so many blockbuster movies that are just they just it's just shit. And it's right. just like shit and it's shitty like popcorn movies, which no, is fine, which I is totally agree. okay. But at the same time, it's kind of like it's not okay, corn. Mm, uh, I think it's okay. I think it. I, th- I think there's a reason. I mean, there's a point to um, just dumbing down movies just just to be. It's not. I mean, no, it's not okay. Actually, now that I think about it, now that I said it out loud, I sound stupid. I think that uh, you should put more effort into creating shit that people want to see, and you shouldn't just be passive about it. But yeah, and I mean, that's. I guess that's. You see that it takes a big man to just you know. Admit, you know. That you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't admit that. What? Hmm? You're wrong. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, but yeah, like, I think that um, getting back to the democracy of art on the internet, you know, people write writers, you know, like, let, I mean, let's look at, there's a writer named Andy Weir. He wrote uh, something called The Martian, which was just, it was an online story. So many people started reading it that basically that he, some, he made someone it into a novel. Yeah, he yeah. made it into a novel and like basic, and now it's a movie. And now it's a movie. So I mean, like, Matt Damon, and like anybody could do that. Yeah. Oh you yeah. Know, anybody could oh, yeah. do that, and that's the fucking best thing about it. Like anybody can like be like that hidden, that hidden gem, that hidden. You know what I mean? And honestly, everybody thinks they can <coughs> or want to be that person, but when they start doing it and realizing they have to build their Work. own brand, thank you. Um, Maybe they don't want to, and or maybe they're not up to snuff. But it keeps everybody real, you know. It's like yeah. now there's like the the mark the entry the, the the barriers to entry into this market are not anywhere near what they used to be, yeah, right? True. So now the barriers are pretty level in terms of amateur as far as amateurs go, you know. I mean, Justin Bieber was a YouTube star. Now look at him; he's a professional asshole. He's a professional asshole. But I mean, he was a talented kid. But you. That's, see, that's the thing. Don't get famous as fuck when you're 10 years old, dumb dumb. Exactly. God. But, I mean, that'd be pretty cool to be famous as fuck when you're like 10 years old. Pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool. So awesome. But I, I, I'd like to think I wouldn't be an asshole. No, I mean, you're an asshole. No. I'm not an asshole. Come that's, on, guys. It's true. He's not an asshole. <laughs> I think we got totally off our fucking list. That's your fault. It's okay. But anyways, okay, go. A con. It's organic. A con. Oh, a con. Yeah. Oh shit! Let me just take one of my pros and flip it. Uh, shit, we talked about it all. Okay, let me just pose a question then. No. Okay. A con. Con. Lately, I've con! been on. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Lately, I've been on Reddit and I found a, a subreddit called "Am I Being Detained?" Actually, no. This is a pro. I love it. Am I being entertained? Wait, what? Okay, okay. The con is that these assholes exist. Okay, So, am I being detained is a subreddit that is about these people who are saying that they're they're from a sovereign nation and that they don't have to uphold the laws of, of our government or your government or whatever. So, what they do is they go around trying to troll police officers. Ooh. Yeah, so they go, like, one dude was parked... In front of a police station, filming blatantly, and the cops come over. It's like, "Hey, sir, how's it going today?" 
I uh, just want to know what's why, why you're filming. Do I have to answer you? I don't have to answer. And like, they're just being like dickheads to cops. Um, I understand the nation right now is in a very sensitive place, especially when it comes to, to police officers and minorities. But this dude was outright being a dick to be a dick to prove something to cops. And uh, definitely there's a lot of bad eggs, but there's a lot of good eggs. And it's just kind of like you being an asshole doesn't help society in general. Right. Like you're still an asshole whether or not you think the laws are right or whether or not um, like the law, like the officers being, you know, lawful or not. You're still being an asshole. Uh, asshole, being an asshole is universal law. If you're an asshole, you're an asshole to everyone. Exactly. Nobody gives a fuck. So, cool your shit, internet. Too much knowledge isn't good for you. Fucking knowledge used wrong. Yeah, you, it's, 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 he's you. like, it's like a lot of. Am I being entertained? Oh, what's, it was the one Officer P Barnes? That was the greatest one. They wouldn't let him go into the courtroom with his camera. Mm-hmm. So. Officer P. Barnes, da 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 da. He's like, he's like, dude, you're not coming in here with that camera. I was like, dude. he's like, why are you, why are you in my way? Why are you not letting me in? And he's like, yeah, no, you can totally come in. Just you can't have the camera. You can't film. This is a fucking court, court thing. You can't film. It was like a thing. House, it's kind of like, why? It's my right. It's like, no, it's not. And then, <laughs> and the homeboy just tases that fool. It's like, ah, am I being detained? Don't tase, tase me. Don't tase <laughs> so me. I guess the con here is. That the internet is breeding a lot of self-righteous assholes uh, that are not just the cops. Because the cops can be too. And, and in all likelihood, a lot of them are. Yeah. But doesn't give citizens the right to be an asshole too. Just honestly, if you're a human being, try not to be an asshole. That's all. That's all that is. No big deal, That's right? True. Like, if you, feel, if you feel like you're unjust, especially here in the Bay Area. Or, or you know, like if you feel unjustly like harassed by police officers or whatever... Take the higher road and fucking handle it. You know, don't yeah. fucking try to troll a guy with a gun and a taser who's itching to use it. Dumb, dumb. That's true. Like, I mean, like, take the take the higher road and fucking handle it. Like, like honestly, everybody's got a voice now. It sucks. Some people don't have much, as much of a voice. Of course, true. obviously, there's tons of institutions and tons of like precedent of of just ridiculously, blatantly racist and corrupt actions in the United States. Yes. Obviously. I mean, we got a guy that's running for presidency that's rocking a toupee that has went bankrupt a bajillion times. I don't understand what the fuck is going on. Dude, I think he's trolling. He is trolling. He has to be trolling. Like, I feel like they're going to kind of build him up. Well, so I mean, honestly, he's though. almost going to get it. Honestly, though, the, the position of being the president of the United States of America has lost so much power over the years because... Every high level politician is being propped up by fucking gigantic corporations and everything. You know what I mean? And honestly, that's becoming way more transparent too, which is another pro of the internet. Depends on where you read, though. Mm hmm. Like, depends on what websites you go to. Like, I mean, like, you still got to use your discretion and don't just fucking believe every fucking thing. Yeah. Can't be an idiot. Anybody have any questions? Um, no, but we got some comments. Sure. Um, Titus says the internet gives everyone a venue to voice their opinion, and a, opinion is the most ignorant form of knowledge because it doesn't require one to provide facts to defend their words. Very true. Very because, true. like, you can you you can ha- you can be having an argument. And you'd be like, "Well, I think Donald Trump is going to be greatest president ever." That's just my opinion. And it's kind of like, but if you can back it, but up if with you, facts, if you're like, if you're like, well, your opinion sucks. It's like, that's your opinion. It's like, well, there's, there's no fucking arguing at this point. This yeah. is dumb. Like, this doesn't make any sense. So Titus, you're absolutely right. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got them. No, they discharge waste. Oh, no, everyone's got one and they, they all stink. It's, is the. Yeah. Is the cheesy joke? Yes. yes. Any, more, any other comments from anybody else? <laughs> um, I got a couple comments on my koozie. Thanks, PJ. Um, plastic forties do suck. Um, in fact, I think this forty is actually making my hand warm, versus it trying to stay cold. You know, but at the same time, I don't have to worry about getting stabbed. 
you know, because Pat has is prone to violence. Apparently. Tactical turtleneck. Are you wearing a tactical? No, it's a button-up shirt, dude. Yeah, he doesn't know. It's a button-up shirt. It's a button-up shirt, buddy. <laughs> I can unbutton it and give you a show. Oh, uh, that's for have, a different you podcast. To, you have to pay for that. <laughs> Hit the donate button on the button right yeah, here. <laughs> there's, there's one one button, fifty bucks per button. That's how much I think I'm worth. That's not even that much. Like <laughs> my buttons are worth way more. I'm just saying, and they snap off, so but it's quick. They should be. So cheap. if you guys want to throw down like two hundred bucks, no all way. the buttons, Ain't no, like half the buttons can come down. Nobody wants to see your sports bra, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Um, let me see. Do I have any other notes for for internet? Oh, one thing that the internet has changed my life. He's finished, so. Mm. I'm not, technically. Go ahead. The 40 hours winding down. Um, is people who are navigationally challenged, like myself, holy fuck, game changer. Internet, GPS, smartphones. Uh, fuck yeah, because... I'm, I'm always lost, like when I'm driving, and I'm, I'm, I'm just not good, um, and it's probably gotten worse because I rely so much on my GPS on my phone, but I, I still try to make an effort to learn, you know, layouts and shit like that. But for someone like me who who can't always remember street names and who can't always remember the direction I'm going, dude, it's a game changer. I, like, it's amazing. I don't doubt it. I feel the same way. Yeah. You know, like... the only, I guess the only con would be GPS directions sometimes are fucking re- stupid. Yeah, once you know where you're going and you find, like, different streets and whatever, they're pretty dumb sometimes. But you know what? That's a, That can be a pro, too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so, you know. Um, I think that... You know, like you, like the biggest uh, pro for the internet for me, anyways, is that it is the biggest repository of knowledge that you can have. Like you know, that's, the, the, as far as we know, that's ever existed on that's the ever planet existed. Earth. So, like, I mean, like to me, like you really, you know, I feel like I feel like I'm one of those people that I'm online, but I haven't taken as much advantage of it as I could be. Not until the last couple of years. Where, you know, like, podcasts and, like, you know, watching yes. documentaries and, like, all this stuff. Absolutely. So, I mean, like, you know, like, I wish, like, I mean, it, it, you know, the internet is a tool. That's the one thing you guys got to remember. <clears throat> like, tools are supposed to make you better and make things easier. You can use a hammer Not to, to make build you... someone or you can use a hammer to kill someone. Exactly. So build Not... someone or build something. Sorry, I said build. Build someone you can or use... kill someone. <laughs> you can use a hammer to build something. You can build or someone can... or break someone. Or you can smash someone in the fucking face. And honestly, a lot of the, the, the younger generation, not to sound like an old fucking man, they're being so reliant on this technology and this internet that they're not learning how to do shit. You know, they're relying and they're being complacent. Um, but there's also a huge community out there of, of artists and, and people who want to contribute. So this is our way of contributing. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it might not seem much to you guys, but... It's, it, you know, we take time out of our day, fucking make yeah. this happen, you know? Yeah, you know. As easy as it is, it's still a form of expression for us. And uh, and we fucking appreciate you guys for fucking joining us. So, uh, as the 40 hour winds down, thank you, everybody. Love, peace, and chicken grease. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta you gotta disconnect it after I do my sign off. I'm sorry.